in Japan. Thank you, Isaac. I'll take it from here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be sailing from the port of Los Angeles directly to Japan's second largest port, right here, Kobe. Gopher. Mm. It is not pronounced Kobe. It is pronounced Kobe. The E is pronounced A. Excuse me. <laughs> Quite all right. Anyway, from, oh, please. thank you. From Kobe, we will travel on to the ancient city of Kyoto, and we will also make a side trip down to the fabulous shrines in Nara. Now, both of these, by the way, happen to be the ancient capitals of Japan. From there, we'll get back on the ship, go here to Yokohama, Japan's largest port, and then we'll get off and go inland for a few days in Tokyo. Gopher, mm. it is not pronounced Tokyo. It is pronounced Tokyo. Two syllables. Tokyo. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> From Tokyo, we will then go back to L.A. It's not pronounced L.A. It's not? It's La. <laughs> Love our cabin, Mother. Isn't this a beautiful ship? Yeah, you know what I like about it most? What? Soon you could be rich enough to buy it. Oh, Mother. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, um, I think I got off at the wrong deck. Is the Fiesta deck up or down? Sorry, my daughter and I don't know our way around yet. Wish I could help. Why don't you ask one of the crew? Hmm. Because they don't look as good as your mother. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm Harvey Willis. How do you do? Uh, I, uh... I hope we'll be seeing each other again. Definitely. <laughs> wow, this is going to be some cruise. The elevator is right over there, Miss Pearsall. You're one deck down. Thanks. Anything else we can do for you? Yeah. You can hand me a telegram from my boss saying I don't have to go to Japan. Load it down. Can I help you out? Absolutely. Uh, I'm uh, Bud O'Hara. Lala Pearson. Nice to meet you. Well, you're shooting a lot of cameras. You should wait until you get to Japan. You know, you get them at cheaper. So I've heard. Oh, you're going to love Japan. I'll show you some great places to take photographs. I've been there before. Like you. Yeah, yeah. So far, I think I've been pretty lucky. Hey, Gopher! Hey, Gopher! I said, wow! Can you, listen, do you know who's coming on this cruise? Oh, who? Barney and Gladys Gordon. That's the dock worker that won $5 million in the state lottery. Oh, wow! I love it when a little guy like this gets lucky. And then I call the stoplight. <laughs> Let me ask you, Mr. Gordon, what do you plan to do with the $5 million? Uh, well, uh, the missus and I are simple folk. Uh, money isn't going to change our lifestyle, any right, honey? <laughs> Amen! Uh, folks, what say we let the Gordons enjoy their cruise? No yes. more pictures, okay? Yes. Thank you. Mm. Bring it to my room. Oh, and 
um, kid, mm. would you send a bottle of champagne to our room, pronto? Hey, what do you mean, a bottle of champagne? Make that a six-pack. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club, Billy Gump. Excuse me. Yes, hi. Uh, we're the Hoffmans. Hello. Hi. Can we put something in the ship's safe? See, my daughter bought this at an auction, and it once belonged to an ancient Japanese emperor. Mother. Please. Oh. oh, it's magnificent. <laughs> Thank you. It's very valuable, and I will feel a lot better when it's in the safe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I understand. Very lovely. Oh, thank you. And the silk's not bad, either. <laughs> I'll have Gopher. He's our purser. Open the safe for you. Good. Then I'll find a safe place for my daughter. Excuse me. Oh, arigato. That's Japanese for welcome aboard. Oh, hi. That's English for hello. <laughs> I'm Martha Chambers. Well, how do you do? I'm Julie McCoy, your cruise director, and this is Captain Steubing. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Oh, oh Japan today. History of the samurai. Looks like you're loading up on information about Japan. Well, first visit? No, my third. I teach Oriental studies. Oh, I envy you. I've always found the history of the Orient fascinating. Oh, if you'd like, feel free to browse. Oh, thank you. It's not often a student gets a chance to carry the teacher's book. Thank you. He's a charming man. Mm hmm Is he, um... Single? Yes. Available? That's up to the captain. <laughs> oh, Miss Chambers, you're on the Fiesta deck cabin 342. Is that uh, near the captain? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Too bad. I'll give you 50 yen for a map to the officer's quarters. Nice muscles in your smile. Uh, you know what? You never told me. What's a nice and sexy lady going to Japan alone? Well, your editor says go take pictures, then you go take pictures. You don't want to go? Not particularly. Why? I think you'll like it if you give it a chance. What have you got against Japan anyway? I've never seen my father walk. I never will. Oh, well. Uh... World War II. Sorry. So am I. <laughs> Miss McCoy? Yes, sir. Excuse us, please. Will you return this book to Miss Chambers for me? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, tell her I read it last night. I found it very interesting. Thank her for me, please. I will. Oh, Julie, mm -hmm. have you assigned any of the passengers to my table for dinner? Well, not yet, sir, but I was thinking... Well, if she's not busy, I think Miss Chambers I'll might... I'll ask her. All right. I'd love to see you there. Yes, sir. So tell me, Celia, what brings you to Japan? Well, can you keep a secret? A gentleman in Japan's paying for my trip. No, it isn't what you think it is. Mr. Yasumoto is paying our way because he's interested in a piece of silk that Joni owns. 
there must be some piece of silk. Mm -hmm. According to Mr. Yasumoto, hundreds of years ago, a Japanese emperor cut a valuable silk artwork into three equal pieces, and Joni has one of them. Go on. Well, when the three pieces are put back together again, the picture they form will lead us to the emperor's hidden treasure. That's some story. How does this uh, man in Japan figure in? Oh, he's got one of the pieces. And in his letter, he said, we'll meet the owner of the third piece when we get there. And when we find the fortune, we'll split it three ways. Well, I hate to dampen your spirit, Celia, but the emperor's fortune would turn out to be like the emperor's new clothes. Invisible. <laughs> Hey, I haven't seen you around since we sailed. I'm, I'm Ben Cummings. Hi, Johnny Hoffman. Hi. I was afraid my mother might have scared you away for good. Oh, not a chance. The minute I saw you with that beautiful silk artwork, I knew I had to meet you. Are you interested in Japanese art, too? No, just Japanese art collectors. <laughs> uh, this is the life, huh, Gladys? Yeah. Remember the days when we had nothing? How could I forget? My whole life till Thursday. <laughs> Gordon? Hey. Mrs. Gordon? Hi. Uh, you're standing in her light. Sorry. <laughs> hey, go for it. Treat your taste buds to a pot. Havana. Fifteen bucks a pot. Oh, thank you. Forget it. I mean, when's the fellow on your salary going to afford one of those babies? <laughs> Captain asked me to return this to you. He said he found it very interesting. Oh. I guess if he found me interesting, he would have returned it himself. Why don't you ask him at dinner? He wants you to dine with him. He does? Julie? Yeah. I accept. <laughs> <laughs> Special courses tonight will include a variety of Japanese cuisine. Good evening. Oh, uh, fella. Here, uh, would you see the Mrs. I get the best uh, table in the house? Sir, I'm the captain. Well, let's split that with the maitre d'. Thank you. Well, no. oh, her bucks doesn't seem to go as far as it used to. Huh. Waiter. <laughs> Hi, Chief. No, fine. I hope the captain likes my gown and uh, what's in it. <laughs> How do I look? If you looked any better, it'd be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess it's time to forget my oriental studies and go study the American name. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, why do they call this shabu shabu? Well, that's because you're supposed to put the meat in the boiling water only as long as it takes to say shabu shabu. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sorry I'm late, Captain. Oh, that's perfectly all right, Miss Chambers. You're definitely worth the wait. <laughs> Everybody, this is Martha Chambers. Miss Chambers is an expert on Japan. That's why I invited her to join us. <laughs> um, two orders of toro, two orders of yellowtail, oh, and two orders of salmon roll with quail egg. You're gonna love the sushi. <sighs> And if I don't? I'll get you a hot dog. <laughs> you ever hear of the expression male chauvinist? Yeah, in old Japan, the male was always dominant. And there was practically no divorce. It's traditional. The man pours the woman's drink. And the woman pours the man's. Satisfactory, my master. I think you'll find the Japanese people among the most gracious in the world. Uh, by the way, Miss Chambers, um, I almost forgot to ask. Uh, a friend of mine wanted me to ask about the, uh, the what do you call them, the, uh, well, you know, the uh, geisha girls. Oh, uh, well, actually, Gopher, they're never referred to as geisha girls, just geisha. That's singular and plural. And Gopher, um, you can tell your friend that you have the wrong idea about the geisha. <laughs> Oh, in fact, geisha are very respectable women who are trained professional hostesses. They date back to the 16th century. What does geisha mean? Well, literally translated, it means talented person. They're experts in practically everything and can converse on every subject from sports to business. 
As long as they stay out of medicine, I've got enough competition. <laughs> well, they sound like fascinating women. I hope we can meet some. Oh, maybe in Kyoto. The Japanese cruise people are going to have a welcoming party for us. Oh, well, then you probably will. Great. I look forward to it. <laughs> I wish to propose a toast to Ben and myself for having the two loveliest dates on this whole ship. Uh, except for you and Joni, of course. Oh. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Hi, folks. Oh, good evening. Mm. Hi. So, how are the Silk Twins tonight? Silk Twins? Well, you and Ben may not look much alike, but those two pieces of silk you put in the safe sure do. trip down to the fabulous shrines in Nara. Now, both of these, by the way, happen to be the ancient capitals of Japan. From there, we'll get back on the ship, go here to Yokohama, Japan's largest port, and then we'll get off and go inland for a few days in Tokyo. Gopher, mm. it is not pronounced Tokyo. It is pronounced Tokyo. Two syllables. Tokyo. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> From Tokyo, we will then go back to L.A. It's not pronounced L.A. It's not? Lot. <laughs> I just love our cabin, Mother. Isn't this a beautiful ship? Yeah, you know what I like about it most? What? Soon you could be rich enough to buy it. Oh, Mother. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, um, I think I got off at the wrong deck. Is the Fiesta deck up or down? Sorry, my daughter and I don't know our way around yet. Wish I could help. Why don't you ask one of the crew? Hmm. But they don't look as good as your mother. Uh, I'm Harvey Willis. How do you do? Uh, I uh, hope we'll be seeing each other again. Definitely. <laughs> wow, this is going to be some cruise. The elevator is right over there, Miss Pearsall. You're one deck down. Thanks. Anything else we can do for you? Yeah. You can hand me a telegram from my boss saying I don't have to go to Japan. Sorry. Uh, look loaded down. Can I help you out? Absolutely. Uh, I'm uh, Bud O'Hara. Lala Pearson. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're shooting a lot of cameras. You shouldn't wait until you get to Japan. You know, you get them at cheaper. So I've heard. Oh, you're going to love Japan. I'll show you some great places to take photographs. I've been there before. Like you. Yeah, yeah. So far, I think I've been pretty lucky. Hey, Gopher! Hey, Gopher! I said, wow! Can you, listen, do you know who's coming on this cruise? No, who? Barney and Gladys Gordon. That's a dock worker that won $5 million in the state lottery. Oh, wow! I love it when a little guy like this gets lucky. And then I call the stoplight. <laughs> Let me ask you, Mr. Gordon, what do you plan to do with the $5 million? Uh, well, uh, the missus and I are simple folk. Uh, money isn't going to change our lifestyle any right, honey? <laughs> Amen! Uh, folks, what say we let the Gordons enjoy their cruise? No yes. more pictures, okay? Yes. Take care. Mm. Sure. Bring it to my room. <laughs> oh, and, um, kid, mm. would you send a bottle of champagne to our room, pronto? Hey, what do you mean, a bottle of champagne? Make that a six-pack. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club, kid.
Japan. We're now serving sake and sushi in the purser's lobby. Dozo Tanashimi Kudasai. Enjoy. Yes, you folks are in for a real treat in Japan. Thank you, Isaac. I'll take it from here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be sailing from the port of Los Angeles directly to Japan's second largest port, right here, Kobe. Gopher. Mm. It is not pronounced Kobe. It is pronounced Kobe. The E is pronounced A. Excuse me. <laughs> Quite all right. Anyway, oh, please. Thank you. From Kobe, we will travel on to the ancient city of Kyoto, and we will also make.